هذا هو اليوم الذي صنعه الرب فلنفرح ولنتهلل به المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور Christos anesti ebne kron thanaton, thanaton batisas, keti sentith ni masi zoif karisa menos. Alrighty, Christos anesti, Mr. Kant. It's May 8th, 2012, and it's time for Comets X. Uh, we're back in our usual place again, uh, starting a day here. Uh, a day is kind of uh, shifting again, so... The comments decks are coming later because the day is shifting over, so I'm not finishing now any earlier than uh, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, so this is the result of comments X that comments is now starting around noon, and uh, well, last, day was, last day was, yesterday was pretty good. Uh, I got an, a good amount of filming done. Problems did pop up where I did have to debug, but it didn't take me that long. I was able to debug and film on the same day. So uh, I'm getting used to really dealing with a lot of the uh, the day-to-day -day issues and resolving them within a reasonable period of time uh, to move on to the, to the next thing. So uh, today I've uh, scheduled another full day of, of, of shooting, as well as uh, I'm going to be working on my, sh my, my machine shop and engineering shop back, back behind me, back behind these garage doors, is uh, a machine shop and engineering shop. I'll also be working on the electronics lab, and the third project that I have to do around uh, the setup is I've got to start working on the kitchen. The kitchen is where I'm going to be filming uh, the new documentary, uh, the, the new documentary that's called uh, Foods, Food of the Silk Road. We'll take a look at uh, the food and cultures of the, that area called the Silk Road. Basically, it's in the Turkish Syrian region, where you have the Greeks in there, you have the Syrians in there, you have the, the Lebanese, you have the Turks. But that road, that area there, uh, because it was a crossroads, uh, you have cultures from uh, Persia, you have cultures from India, you have all even, even as far away as China, because that's where the Silk Road went. Is that all? They went all the way through there. And it went into North Africa, and into, into Somalia, into all these different regions. And I want to see how the Silk Road has influenced all these different regions. So I'm going to be doing a, a, a bit of a study to see what type of foods uh, these people have, uh, the different types of spices. I have asked all these different spices now because I'm in an immigrant neighborhood where you have all these spices around anyways. Uh, so I thought that uh, since I'm learning the culture, since, since it's partially my culture, uh, I'm going to start from the central area of Syria, Turkey, Greece, and Lebanon, and then work my way out in concentric rings uh, across the Silk Road, both east and west. Uh, now, we're going to be trying to primarily concentrating on the southern end of the route, because it didn't go so much into Europe as the, it, it, it stopped essentially in Budapest, in, in, uh, 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 that's as far north as it went. It, 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 as soon as you got into the Caucasus, the Caucasian mountains, that's sort of where things stopped. And then uh, everything uh, west of there is Europe and has a European culture and European identity. But things around, around, the, um, around uh, Turkey, Syria, uh, Lebanon, around that area there, and then as you go uh, south along the Mediterranean into Egypt, uh, all the way to Morocco, um, and even a little bit further south, all the way down to uh, Ethiopia, uh, you have the influences of the Silk Road in terms of the culture. Then you can go all the way east uh, to India and to China to find influences of the Silk Road there as well. So I said, this is where we're going to cover, which is the areas that we're going to look at. Uh, we're going to try to cook with as much of the uh, materials that they had available at the time so that we can get an idea of, of not only what they but what could they have eaten, what, what could their foods have looked like. Um, uh, and this is how we can sort of identify um, how our culture 
foods of our culture today, what we see in the Greek food stores and the Syrian food stores, and a lot of these, uh, for these uh, immigrant food stores, uh, how they're laid out, what type of foods they offer their people, and uh, uh, where everything like, like that came from. Uh, this is an interesting exercise. Uh, I find it interesting uh, to learn a little bit more about my culture, my history. So I think you guys will find that interesting as well. Then uh, today uh, we're going to be working on uh, trying to get uh, uh, the Adventures in the Library up to the 720p format. That's the goal today is get that to get up that up there. Uh, we're working on a new format for the news. Uh, we tried to get it up yesterday. It didn't quite work out. Had some technical issues that we still have to work on and smooth out. So that's going to be done today. Uh, so we should have news and economic uh, economic report the economic report out today. Uh, and if everything goes well, the news will be done nightly because this thing has to be sort of, sort of it's, it's more um, things have to be set up more than they did before because uh, there'll be uh, reference you'll, you'll be able to see some of the web pages I look at and some of the d different sources that I look that I uh, use and how I make my determination of what is what. Uh, and then beyond that. Uh, uh, it just look you know I also have to do the prep for tomorrow and the rest of the week to see what I'm going to do what other stuff is going to pop up during the week as well so. uh, that's sort of today's schedule uh, that, that was uh, it's kind of and also to look back at yesterday so I think that's going to be it for now I'll see you guys around on YouTube I will be answering a comment slide today we'll be in 720 uh, 720 HD so yay Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.